not your average tabletop. Woohoo! Welcome to Not Your Average Tabletop. I'm Zach. And I'm Pepper. We're back with another episode of Take My Money. Yes, and as you notice, we may be wearing the same clothes as last <laughs> episode, uh, because we filmed these back-to-back, -back, and that is also why the timeline dates to go on here may not quite be exactly what it is at the time of your viewing or the release of this video, so there is much less time to go with these projects. So, And they're probably just... making a ton more money. Yes. Uh, so be warned that, yes, there will be a little less time. And yeah, these videos will I think be coming out the same Wednesday third or Wednesday and Friday. So if you ha uh, if you haven't checked it out, uh, I think some of those projects are probably over, uh, but it might be a couple on there as well that are currently going on. Uh, so you can check those out. Otherwise, let us know below what you're currently backing, uh, what you're looking at, because uh, yeah, with this take my money, we're going to be looking at some projects some current projects that are going on related to board game. Um, and this time we're looking at six different projects. Some of them I'm pretty excited about. Uh, <laughs> I may have even backed one. Uh, oh, almost geez. almost in, I, I think in the first 48 hours, I backed one of them. So <laughs> I'm excited about one of them. You'll have to find out which one that is. Stay tuned. Uh, but... Uh, well, right away, we go to this biohack, create mythical creatures of mad scientists. Uh, create various creatures from myths and gain back your reputation as scientists in the strategic for one to four play strategic game for one to four players. Uh, this was one that I honestly, from the name and if I would have seen it, I would not have had any interest at all in the game. Yeah. Not looking at like any components or anything. I don't think I would have had any interest. Uh, but now that I've looked at it a little bit, this one's actually a little interesting to me. Um, I was a little surprised. I think this was kind of out of these games, probably the, the sh I don't know, but you'd call it shocking. Totally <laughs> shocking, but I, I think this one was Number a little Number six will me. shock you. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, it's I already at 100, 120,000, 1,300 yep. backers, uh, yep. which also... I think after looking at it, it doesn't surprise me as much as it would have initially. Still 10 days to go. Um, that's true. This, so that's still a lot more backers that can be had. Up to 200,000 possibly. Yeah. Um, uh, which is surprising. This is, I don't know. Um, this is from some guys in Japan. I don't know what else they've created. I think, uh, what was it? Aqua Garden, which I think is, isn't that one of Mike Delicio's favorite games? I think he did mention that one, yeah. Um, um so and then yeah. I think they've made a couple other ones as well that yep. have had yeah, positive like reviews. Said, from the look of it, I don't know. I mean, I guess I don't know what you could tell based on the cover and the name. That's just it. Doesn't feel like exactly what the game turns out to be from what I've right. seen. Um, just a a cool worker placement game. That's not kind of the feel I get from the cover and theme. Um. Yeah, I, I was really interested once I did see how this played and how these kind of, I think, secretly choose the action spots that you want to go to. Um, and mm -hmm. everyone puts their workers out to those. I think each person goes to three, um, mm -hmm. resulting in possibly multiple people at each location. And then it goes in turn order, um, possibly removing those workers. Um, and if you're kind of the first to remove yours there, you get the best action um, based on how many people were there that that was a very intriguing and just immediately jumped the game from just like something I have no clue about to like, okay, this looks really fun. I would agree. I think that was the thing that got me the most excited or interested in the game was that piece of it. Uh, Cause I always like worker placement and this, this is kind of a worker placement and it kind of, I mean, because you're doing it secretly, it's, uh, typically, I think worker placement, you can kind of block areas, not in all of them, uh, but uh, a lot of them are, you know, someone puts a piece at a certain location and then no one else can take it that round. Uh, but this one, uh, you don't really know what other people are going to take and everyone can kind of take the same action or they can take the same action potentially. Um, and if they do, yeah, like you said, if you're, you know, the first player to be able to pull one off, you can get a little bit of a extra bonus, which I found yeah, really it cool. turns out, yeah, everyone else went to that same location. You're just like, oh, this is great. 
Right. So yeah, I, I kind of wonder how that ends up playing out because like yeah, yeah, if you if you know you're gonna be the first player to be able to pick, are you gonna pick based on what you think the other players are gonna do versus if you're like the last player, are you gonna be more likely to well, I don't need to necessarily go there and I know that they probably do, so I don't really want to give them another, you know, benefit. But I I would wonder if that actually plays out in an interesting way. I guess I'm not hundred percent sure. But yeah, then yeah, you already true. scrolled past it. Oh boy, Wings fan, Terraforming Mars, is, inspiration. That oh boy, that is the that is the trio <laughs> that people are going to be talking about. Um, but yeah, my favorite game. tag system. So that kind of sounds. I guess the tag system makes me think of more like Terraforming Mars than Wingspan. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Kind of benefits and discounts and things like that. Um, I'm trying to think of Wingspan if that. Has... I don't know if that's more of like the. Food costs and oh, stuff maybe. that they're talking about, maybe. I, I, yeah, that's what I wasn't really 100% sure what that meant exactly, but maybe yeah. it just meant like different cards and stuff. I, I'm not 100% sure, but just the fact that it, you know, they were maybe getting inspiration yeah. from those two yeah. games is, is exciting uh, because this is another one where you're going to have like a tableau of cards, mm, just yeah. like those two games. And I would say to me, those are two of the best tableau. Yeah, for sure card card driven games out there in my opinion Ooh, they very much value open communication and transparent campaign management uh, if you've ever backed any of theirs let us know if that's true if that's true they're really yeah. good with that because i have seen so many complaints on pretty much every <laughs> Kickstarter campaign for not enough transparency not enough communication so if they're good with that then that is great Mm -hmm. uh, great artwork, I would say, throughout. I mean, I know it's probably not going to be everyone's style, but uh, yeah, it's very I think well that done. Is, um, I think that is still ever... one of the things for me. I, I don't know if it's my favorite artwork, but mm -hmm. it's it's interesting. It's not it's not like off putting to me, but yeah. it's not my favorite. Yeah, and I, I like the card designs. There's not really much blank space or anything without detail. Um, like even the borders here have a little bit of detail and that kind of metal look and glowing mm -hmm. pink little spots there. So I really like the, the space pretty well out of the cards. Um, obviously, a bunch of screen printed wooden <laughs> tokens are That's what really great. got you, wasn't it? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Those <laughs> guys are there. The second I saw that, I was like, oh boy, pepper's in. Um, yeah, a lot Especially of really the medicine cool tokens ones. there. The empty and the full medicine oh. tokens. <laughs> Never had this in a game. I've been waiting. Um, yeah, and then foldable player boards as inspired by Wingspan. Um, yeah, I. other than that, I mean, I feel like the actions are pretty straightforward, which mm -hmm. I like that when there's a unique um, aspect to the worker placement, in this case with kind of better benefits for more people there. I think the actions themselves have to be pretty straightforward um, to just not overanalyze everything, be struck with analysis mm -hmm. paralysis, which we can be. I like that these are pretty straightforward, kind of reminded me of Dinosaur Island, just um, getting That's those DNA, different DNA types, just kind of the whole, um, the genes and how that works in this game seems pretty similar and straightforward to that. Mm -hmm. um, while also having a lot of depth to the strategy um, and everything you do. Yes. Um, but yeah, so I, I'm pretty, I'm more interested in this one than I ever thought I would be. And I could I could see this one entering our collection. <laughs> I really could. I do agree that I, I, like I said, this was my probably shock of the week. I would not have expected to um, actually be as interested as I am in this one. Uh, so, yeah, I I might have to look into this one a little bit more and see if it's it's worth it. Uh, those metal coins do look interesting, but then and it gets up to eighty dollars <laughs> which... and two little mini ex or look like mini expansions. Um, That's that true. Is eighty dollars. Uh, looking for February twenty twenty four delivery, mm -hmm. which is about average for um, a video. The, I just see the word video, so I just say video. <laughs> the projects uh, that we've 
looked at lately. That's about the average timeline, I would say. And mm -hmm. uh, shipping is 20 bucks for us or else for that kind of deluxe version 24 um, for the U.S. Yeah. I think that was the, the piece that kind of drove me back a little bit uh, just because, yeah, then in total, even if you get the kind of the base one, what does that put you at? Yeah, it's 20 and about 80. Yeah. Is it 80 or 70? Or 52 to me. About uh, 72, 72. Roughly. Yeah. So, I mean, it's not awful, but, but at the same time, I, I think it's just hard to swallow that maybe games will be that much. I, I just, in this game, and it's not just this one, but some more Euros recently and stuff, uh, it's, it's like, I don't know, is there $70 worth of stuff in the box? I, yeah. I don't know. I, I'm not sure. I'm not saying that it is a bad price, but... Yeah, I, um, I like the look of the game and the artwork. Um, and the wooden components do look really nice, um, mm -hmm. especially if you do get the metal coins. Um, but, I mean, I don't remember if there were that many. Let's see. 24, I guess 24 markers there, 12, 24 of those, 8 mm -hmm. of those. That's at about 60 pieces of yeah. wood. Yeah, pretty 60, good, 70. I guess. Um, yeah, it's kind of right on that edge there. Um, mm -hmm. Probably won't get it now, but I definitely will be waiting to see how this one's received. Um, and mm -hmm. hopefully it's received really well, because I would really love to love this game. I agree. I, I it's, hope it's as good as it as the interesting part of it sounds. I hope that's it actually plays out to be uh, yes. really good. Uh, but yeah, I might have to look and make sure. Thanks. I don't know. <laughs> Special James thanks thing. to Jamie. He's oh boy, teaching him to run and manage the campaign. So it's good. I, I like that people are uh, looking. Sounds like they do that's take true. It seriously. Um, that's true. I know and I, I think, would not I think be if, prepared. I think if Stonemeyer did do, if they went back to Kickstarter, I think they would be very active in responding like um, they're saying they are. Uh, so, yeah, I'll have to look and see if their games have gone to retail or are available after the fact. I don't remember which ones they had exactly, but um, if they're harder to get, uh, then might have to think about it a little bit more, obviously. Yeah. And another one. Is he finally going to do it? That's my oh question. Oh boy. Stroganoff Turocon. An expansion with four modules and a big box for the acclaimed strategy board game Stroganoff by Andreas Stedding. <laughs> Almost uh, you got 1,600 backers, $72,000, uh, which isn't bad. Another week to go. Uh, so yeah, this was when I first heard Stroganoff, when that first came out, I was very interested. Uh, but then I think I watched a few videos and stuff, and I just wasn't sure um, if it would be the best game for me. And I wasn't sure if it played well at two. Uh, yeah. So I was a little not 100% sure on that. And I still have not actually gotten it. Uh, I don't know if we've gotten a Game Brewer game since Gugong. But uh, yeah, um, I know you've looked at a lot of them, but I've I don't think we have gotten any. I get I get interested every single time <laughs> they come out with a game because they always have these interesting looking games. But and then I'm like, oh, I'll just wait and see how it's received. And then I just I don't know that any of them have ever been like amazingly received. Okay. I don't know that they've just been total like bombs or anything. But at the same time, it's not like oh wow, this is my favorite game. I don't know if I've seen many people put uh, a lot of the Game Brewer games that I've been interested in in their top games oh, of all time. Yeah, yeah. Not not saying that, that that means it's a bad game because obviously only so many games can be the top. Um, yeah, I mean this I, I love this type of thing where you're uh, kind of got that river type mm -hmm. mechanism. Uh, I love that in games. So, I mean, I probably would like this one. I think this has been the one that if I was going to eventually pull the trigger on one of them, this would be the one, I think. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, not really. Um, <laughs> I guess I barely even mentioned, or we barely even talked about what's in here. But yeah, it's... but yeah. So enough about that. The the thing that got me here was when they <laughs> revealed the first module 
I have a little different approach than you do. Uh, and it said <laughs> the module one chipmunks. And I'm like, okay, I'm down for this. If that gets us, I'm fine with it. Um, that's all they needed to win me needed. over. That's true. Um, and I will say that you're getting pet chipmunks and you're not getting furs. This is, well, that's good, this at is least. a change I will make for me personally playing the game. <laughs> not getting the furs from the chipmunks. You got a hunting plan. <laughs> I do like that, chipmunks. I do like chipmunks. Just, it's just such a fun word. Top five words, I will say. <laughs> but yeah, we don't know the base game, so we don't really know exactly how these will change up the game. Um, mm -hmm. But I, I always like little modules. They make me think of Glenmore 2 Chronicles, mm -hmm. which has all those different little add-ons. Um, not that any... Not that no other game has done modules, but that's one that comes to mind for me. Mm -hmm. uh, this adds four of them, which um, is pretty nice. They look like they add unique things just from someone who hasn't played the game. Um, nice little things, but of course, I don't really know. Um, yeah, it but, sounds like it's adding just kind of, yeah, some extra stuff, a, a few small smaller things it's what it kind of sounds like or looks like uh so i don't think it would be like crazy changing the game but just get maybe more of the the good stuff i'm just kind of a little actually a little surprised that i don't know if this one's just been their best received recently um but i just don't know that i've heard that many talk people talking about struggle off so yeah. i'm just a little surprised at how well it's doing and maybe people are getting it now i, I don't know it just yeah, it surprises me a little bit. It does seem like it kind of. I mean, I was got a little hyped from you from when you first saw it, um, but then after that, I've yeah, I've never heard really anyone talk about it. But it must be must have done well for them. I mean, if they're going back to it and um, they talk about an upgrade here, they say that um, they don't feel and maybe people didn't feel that the quality of the game production was up to their. Uh, standards for the original Stroganoff. Um, so it just looks like they have an upgrade pack that you can get as well for this. Um, a big box upgrade, which will include the expansion, um, or else just a brand new big box, which will obviously include those upgrades. Um, mm -hmm. A new insert. So hopefully that's a great insert. Um, what do you think of this cover versus the original cover? Mm, I like both of them, but I probably like this one just a little bit better. I think. I think. I think I like the first one a little bit better. I mean, they're this kind of the same kind of thing. Um, just feel like mm. I don't know. That one felt a little more bare. Um, I don't know. I kind of like that one a little more yeah. that vibe. Um, but yeah, looks like pretty good artwork throughout. Um, lots of tiles. Lots of tiles. Yeah. So. Yeah, and it looks like you, yeah, you have the option of yeah either getting kind of the the big box, and then I think you can get it, yeah, that one I think is, you get everything. Yeah, if you're brand new to it, you can get all, you know, have it so everything fits in one box. Uh, you get the expansion with it and all the original stuff. I think you can buy just the expansion if you've already got the game or you get the big for box. 33 bucks, expansion and the upgrade um, to the big box for 39 bucks. So that's a great deal. I think you get that full upgrade of all the kind of components that they weren't happy with, um, as well as the expansion for just like five more bucks than the expansion alone. And then if you just are new, which would be us, um, that would be 121 bucks, which is a bit much, but you do get a new expansion in there, um, as well as a lot of great components, it looks like. Um, but the estimated delivery is October 2024, which is quite a ways away, but mm -hmm. at least that seems safe. Um, That's true. That they, they're not trying to but be too ambitious seem... and get this out before the end of the year or anything like that. That would be way worse, I would think. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, but... it is a little surprising because, they, I mean, they've. I don't think they're doing any changes to the design of the original. Mm -hmm. And typically, I would think expansions and seems like this expansion wouldn't think that they would need like more time necessarily to get that expansion ready um yeah it's just more printing it and stuff so i don't know if it's kind of the box that's 
holding it up a little bit. I don't I don't know. Maybe, maybe. But yeah, it like, seems a little long for a game that's already designed. But yeah. gives I like they have this chart here. Um, it kind of breaks down just every little thing. And you may think, oh, do you really have to go into every little component here, what's in there and what's not? But I know there have been some times where I've been wondering about just like a little detail of what's <laughs> included in what pledge. And I like that they have it very clearly laid out uh, what's in each pledge here. Um, very nice, very helpful. Um, but yeah, so do you think you is this the one that you did back since you said you backed one? <laughs> I assume it wasn't the first one. The <laughs> it, was not, it was not the first one, and it was not this one. Oh boy, uh, uh, what do we got for shipping? What do we got? US for us. Would be if we did get the big box, uh, it would be, be 20, 20, 25 bucks probably. Yeah, it's That's getting pretty box. pricey, you know. But yeah, I think that's been the one thing with a lot of their games is they have, like, I feel like theirs were starting to be pricey before kind of this current uptick, and now it looks like they're even pricier. <laughs> it almost kind of reminds me of uh, what's the Eagle Griffin games. Like I know theirs are always pricier, um, but I think it's most of their... I've never actually played one, I don't think. Um, oh, yeah. But I think they're known to have pretty qual a pretty quality product. And uh, I think a lot of them end up being Battle Lacerda games. Yeah. Uh, I, think that's what, I think that's their main kind of thing that they do. Uh, but, yeah. So, I, I'm still interested in this one, but I, I don't know about this Kickstarter specifically. Um, I don't think I would probably back it. Seems a little bit steep for me. Um, yeah, yeah. Probably probably wouldn't need an expansion either, even though that is the chipmunks. Um, probably wouldn't true. need that. Probably just get in at the base game first, um, see what that is, and probably do more research there. It's already been out uh, for a little while, so there should be a lot of content and playthroughs out there to look into. So, uh, Yep. So yeah, so one, if this looks interesting to you, um, I think there's definitely some content out there that you can look into. Yep. The Monsters of Loch Lomond. Uh, this is... <laughs> the idea gets me so excited. It does, too. <laughs> the second Loch Ness I saw monster. I'm like, oh, this is going to be good. This is going to be good. Um, but it is... A... I didn't even need it to be really good. I was just excited. <laughs> <laughs> the That's second true. I saw that, just like the Loch Ness monster, three fifty. <laughs> this is all that comes to my mind. That's all I need. That's like it should box. have just been three dollars and fifty cents. <laughs> if they could have done that, I would have bought at least one copy, if not five. <laughs> <laughs> about three hundred fifty dollars. How about that? <laughs> it might be a little steep. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's got fifteen thousand dollars, which I think I actually the first time I saw this, I think might have been an ad on Facebook or something. I don't think it had reached its goal yet, and I was wondering if it would or not. So I'm 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 glad they were able to three exit because I at that time I was like, ooh, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, after I looked at it because uh, funded in twenty four hours. How quickly did you look at it and make that judgment? Was it? Wow, I, maybe I saw it the first day. I don't Just know. The first two first two minutes and it hadn't hit it. You're like, <laughs> I don't know if it's gonna make it. I because I thought I'm pretty sure it wasn't funded. Maybe it was just barely over or something. Oh, yeah. I, I probably did. Maybe it was an ad that came up right away because it's been a little while now and I doubt that this campaign is going on that long. No, um, so maybe it was like the first day maybe they were running ads or something. So Yeah, yeah it's doing yeah. doing pretty well. Better than I would have guessed. Um, yeah, for, yeah, for sure. I would say first created. Um, don't know if they have any history in the business or if they've ever... Uh, design something with another company but um that is doing pretty well um but i will say after i kind of saw it was just a card game i was as disappointed um just when i think of you know Loch Ness monster that's all i think of and i'm imagining a nice beautiful board uh with nessie peeking out of the water um i don't know nothing too specifically gameplay wise but <laughs> It's something a little more than simple yeah. card game. Doesn't mean this isn't good. There's a lot of fantastic card games, but mm -hmm. just the theme and then components don't quite mesh the way I would like. 
mm-hmm. but the artwork is great throughout. Uh, I do like the artwork. Yes. Uh, yeah, I, I, I would agree. I was a little disappointed after I had seen the title originally and clicked to come to the page in the first the first time when I must have been here in the first five minutes. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, I I was looking at the gameplay and I'm like, eh, I don't know that this is yeah, because it look it reminds me. I think what is it? Golf? Is that what it is? When you um like you're like switching out cards and flipping them over um and then like once you have them all flipped over then whoever has the lowest win so it reminded me a lot of that no oh, uh, yeah which uh, it's, it's a fine game but um uh, yeah. it's not it's not overly inspiring i guess but yeah uh, yeah a me... little little memory aspect kind of looking at your cards trying to shoo away your monsters and just get the lowest score you don't want a high score just high valued cards are negative towards you um Mm -hmm. very simple game um which if you're into that i mean and if this is a theme that you like then i would say this is um going to be about as good as you're going to get i mean it's just Mm -hmm. designed for you uh, if you've been waiting for this themed game and that type of game (laughs) Um, yeah, I, but, I think there's a chance that it could actually be decent. I think yeah. it's going to be more approachable than some other games. Oh, um, yes. Yeah, it this one does feel like it just kind of a fun one that um, is one that I think kind of is what one of them that Kickstarter's for. I think. Yeah, uh, it's not trying to be too flashy. Got the um, weekly. This is what Kickstarter is for. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so I was wondering if I should say it or not. Thought you might give me crap for it. <laughs> but yes, I think this is the type of game it's for. Uh, the shipping seems reasonable. Uh, I mean, you yeah. end up paying 20, 30 bucks for the game. Yep, yep. It might That's... be a little much, but I'm guessing this, if I had to guess, I would say this is probably your best chance to get it. I don't yeah. know that it'll be available after the fact, yeah. but. It could be. Yeah. I, I November twenty twenty three is pretty soon as well. It's not a giant production, so hopefully they can hit that and, mm-hmm. and yeah. I mean if you're interested, I would definitely recommend getting it now versus waiting. Mm-hmm. Oh boy, where you go? Super oh only two left of three. What is this? Love the early work. It's, oh my god, a signed first Ooh. high quality prototype. Oh boy! So if you want that, there's your chance. There's two left. Possibly As of this, one. they might be gone by the time yes. time this comes out. Yeah. But so hopefully there can be another game, maybe more gameplay fitting to us with this theme because I really do. I'm very interested in that theme. Mm-hmm. Um, was that the one you backed? It was not the one I backed. Oh boy. I wanted to when I saw the name. Instant if they just I wanted it to be a deep. worker placement engine building <laughs> game. If it about was the Loch Ness Monster. Biohack Girl Scout me- cookies for about three fittings. Yes. Biohack mechanics with <laughs> Loch Ness Monster theme. There we go. Might have to happen. <laughs> Next up we have Hidden Arc, a beautiful illustrated strategy board game. Um, I just want some game to say requires no strategy one of these times. Not, An ugly. Not, non-strategic <laughs> game. Um, yeah, Terrible saving artwork. endangered fish species and making a difference. Now, this one is not funded yet, uh, but there are still eight days to go. So oh, with man. our push, our influence, get um, it there. the community, get it to $5,468. But yeah, I, I, what are your thoughts on the look? I like the look. It's a different look than a lot of the kind of uh, nautical themed games and animal nature themed games. Um, I would agree. I like it. I like I, it. This is probably not not my favorite artwork either. Um, okay. I but I think I'm probably I do like the kind of. Caribbean feeling, warm feeling, nautical oh, themed yeah. games. Uh, so I usually like kind of the the brighter blues and greens kind of together. So this one 
This one kind of has a little bit of a colder look to it. A little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but it's not... Um, I don't know. It doesn't doesn't grab me as much. Yeah. yeah. And then it looks like a pandemic board. It's the, the classic world map here, uh, which not a big fan of that uh, board. And I mean, could be just kind of getting sick of those types of boards in games. Also, it doesn't really have much that pops really mm -hmm. detail. Not a lot of artwork there. I mean, they didn't mm -hmm. go for putting a lot of artwork in there. I could see that getting busy and distracting, but. Um, this looks no. like another one that was made for that Kickstarter was made for. Doesn't look like a flashy, flashy production. Yeah. Uh, so let the game speak for itself, maybe. Um, and it's not, uh, it seems like one that it's like trying. It's, I was gonna say, trying to send a message. It's <laughs> not not um, trying to send a message, but <laughs> a message. <laughs> it's. It's like got a, a good message behind it, I think, oh, looking yeah, at yeah. like some of the extinct fish and stuff oh, like yeah, that. Yeah. So, I mean, that's a definitely an interesting take on it and a good look at things. But, yeah. and I like that the um, you can kind of these are the actions, these different columns you choose one of the actions, and throughout the game, you can add these tokens to there to upgrade the actions. And then when you take them, you gain those benefits as well. And I mean, that idea seems very satisfying. To me, and I love in games where you can just get a ton more benefits and upgrades mm -hmm. as it goes along. Um, so gameplay wise, I was actually more intrigued than kind of the game board made me feel uh, for the mm -hmm. game. Um, so as I read more, I was much more interested. Um, the art on the cards, I think, all looks nice. I'm guessing it'll be kind of what you see printed here throughout the Kickstarter page. It's kind of what the mm -hmm. card art will look like. And I actually. Yeah, that's, I don't know, something about that first fish versus like the rest of this artwork. I like these fish better. Um, yeah, so I do like that a little bit better than, I don't know, that, I don't like that as much, but I do like yeah. the other ones. So maybe it's just, I don't like that one. So I think the rest of these I've liked. So it just happens to be the one that they chose that I just don't like that much. <laughs> but yeah, I, I always like uh, games that kind of have that engine buildy type feel to them yeah uh, kind of like this. the game i want for the loch ness monster uh <laughs> you're able to upgrade your actions like you said and it seems like it's a pretty looks like a pretty simple process of upgrading those so mm, yeah yep yeah. um yeah and it's a limited amount of actual actions that you have so it's not like you have to learn yes a ton of stuff um necessarily so i like that in games as well when it's kind of the actual gameplay is simple but maybe kind of what you have to do in the game uh, requires yeah. some strategy, some thinking. Yeah, I like there's there's only one uh, pledge level. I mean, unless you're a retailer, um, just this uh, scientist level. So that's going to be forty four bucks, and looks like it should has a lot of wood tokens as well. Um, not screen printed yet. If they do hit the nine thousand mark, nine thousand. Euro, they will unlock that. I don't know if they're going to be able to make it. Um, hopefully, yeah, I don't know if they'll get there. Really but nice, but those do look a lot nicer. So yeah, hopefully that'll be something I can hit. Uh, but yeah, I don't know if it's looking like it currently. So yeah, we need yeah. the push, guys. We need the push, and this is estimated delivery November twenty twenty three, which is pretty pretty close. ambitious. That's pretty, pretty ambitious. ambitious. Um, but they this is their ninth created. Don't know if any of those have ever shipped. I assume they have, or else they'd be in. I don't know if they'd have the guts True. to create another. Uh, <laughs> all right, I've put those negative random thoughts <laughs> out into the universe now. <laughs> uh, we tend to do that. We do, without thinking. So, yes, it's probably, they probably delivered, but if not, you can go into their created and check it out and make sure that. Yep. They don't have seven outstanding projects because then I would not recommend it. <laughs> <laughs> Although I wouldn't, it's not just this one. If anyone had seven outstanding yeah. projects, I wouldn't recommend any of that. So, even if they were all with the Miko artwork, Miko, Micho, whatever it is, even then, Zach. <laughs> okay, that I might break my rule. <laughs> yeah, here's the first of two games here so 
I figured it would be one of these two that he would have backed uh, with the Mitchell art artwork. <laughs> He's a sucker for the bearded um, legend himself. <laughs> uh, the Castellans of Valeria, I think. I don't know. I probably pronounced that wrong. Uh, yeah, in their western frontier, Castellan is needed to develop the city of Cost. Can you outbuild your rivals and win guild support? And immediately I see those screen printed pieces there, and I am intrigued. Yes. <laughs> and I see game trays. Game oh trays and magic, daily magic. Um, Pre stretched right from the start. Best it can be. Um, 35,000 of 10,000. I think anything with the Mika Hardwork is going to get funded. It's just how it is. World famous, I think they use somewhere in here. World. Artist. <laughs> well, he is world famous. That is true. That is true. Um, uh, but I did see in there, they said that they're now, I don't believe it'll be like in any retail. Their new approach to this. So yeah, I think you either back it now or they'll have like 200, they're printing like 250 extra that they're going to have on their store. Oh. So I guess I don't know if that means they would never reprint it or if they'd maybe have it if they had a future Kickstarter. Uh, I guess I didn't look at it that closely to see kind of if this is really your only chance or if it's just your only chance is going to be whenever they actually are selling it, Daily mm -hmm. Magic Games. So yeah. that's something to think about with this one. This one, they pretty clearly said it won't necessarily be available. So mm, Okay. Is... Ooh, look at those game trays. Game trays. Those do look really nice there with all those wonderful screen printed buildings in there. Get a rule book. I agree. Very illustrative. I, I, I like the look of the board. That that board is really nice. Nice. A nice bright blue in there. Um, green. That's nice how I like my... Same colors. <laughs> I like blue. I like green. Yes. That's how oh, I like nice. my uh, nautical games. <laughs> That's a definitely nautical theme. <laughs> yes. Look at that. Look at what he's going to do. The Bearded Legend. Look at what he does. Look at he is screen printing now. They're putting his artwork onto the screen printed uh, minis. They had the, that original one that was definitely ugly. And yes. he's, look at he's just turning it into, I don't know what. I mean, that was Ian Art. Now we've got the Miko. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> I just made that up. Ian Artubal. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, but these ones, I don't know. Um, they looked like they had mm. custom shapes before, and then now they love screen printing. But I kind of like the notches into the stone and the wood, and I don't know if these are going to feature that or if they're just going to be square with screen printing representing that. In that case, I might actually prefer these ones with those little actual notches in there. Mm, I'd probably agree with you there. Um, so yeah, then you've got the beautiful Bearded Legends artwork up there. Peppa, you go back up there to those cards. He's got that artwork. Ooh, that looks okay. Nice. Those seems like he's getting a little more detail into his artwork lately. <laughs> um, I, I don't see what you have against the man. I just I like that he's special. He does, he does have the, a thing though. Yeah, when he's special to the Garfield games, I like that. That feels nice. Just a special little thing. Miko artwork there and only there. Now he's in all these other things, and I just immediately. <laughs> Assume they're going to be good games just because of his artwork, just because all the Garfield games are great. Um, but I can't do that anymore because they're not Garfield games. I don't know anything about these designers. I just know that is cars. that is an interesting take. Because yes, it's it brings up the question of the the artist. Because um, yeah, I would say he's most well known for the Garfield ones. That's probably how a lot of people were first introduced to his artwork, and now he is doing a lot of artwork for a lot of games and it's just like you just have a thing in your mind like i don't think he could ever do the artwork for a non euro game mm -hmm. i don't know i, I mean he could <laughs> not saying he couldn't physically do it but it just <laughs> yeah, would seem don't. a little weird maybe maybe it could add it we'll see could, when, Gar when see. garfield does their story driven game um <laughs> like <I laughs> eventually refuse. They'll have to use, they'll have to use Zemiko, get him into that sphere. But 
yeah, no, that's has a lot of really good looking stuff. I really love the artwork. Only forty nine bucks there. Um, forty nine. Like said it's pre stretched with all mm -hmm. those things baked in, and it looked like a lot of great components um, for a pretty good price. I would say. I would agree. I. This is not the one I backed. I. You weren't going to say that to the end. I I should have, <laughs> but I, I just want to say I. I thought about backing this one quite a bit yeah um yeah. yeah this is another one where the shipping's a little bit um and i think that might just i don't know if that's just shipping rates gonna that's what it's gonna be nowadays um yeah but um i mean for a lot of these games like you said it's already pre-stretched i do appreciate that i mean i have to think in my head even though it's very difficult they could have easily just had like base wooden building things with no screen printing on them yeah. and charge $50. And then they could have put, you know, a $75 option that had screen printing and charge $25 more just for that. And I don't know, maybe it does cost that much. I have no idea what any of this costs. So I'm. But value our opinions on these things. Yes. We are informed. <laughs> um, so, I mean, take that, that into nice. consideration but a lot i've seen a lot of them that do do that type of thing so it is fair that it's just the one thing you're getting the best product right up front i really appreciate that and like that that it's not two different versions where yeah starting at a already high price yeah yeah going i just higher. realized we didn't talk a single lick about any gameplay <laughs> <laughs> It's what you'd expect. Euro game, move around. Roll on dice. track. Dice tracks are nice. Tracks on tracks. tracks. Control the area, get some victory points. Difficult stuff, but... Yeah, uh, into the different areas for different actions. And, I, did, yeah. I thought you might lean towards this one um, of the two, of the two Migos, which will go on to the second Migo. But this is the one that I would prefer by quite a bit. And I'm more interested in Thiefdom. I mean, probably just the name and Thieves and all that. That's just a little more interesting to me. Um, mm -hmm. it, is a, one... it is an interesting um, theme. I guess I guess there's lockup, which isn't really thieves, but you're I mean, it's in a prison setting you're being uh, It doesn't, yeah. I don't think the gameplay yeah. feels like it, though. No. Whereas this I one. think this one will feel like you're an actual thief. Um, yeah. yeah, it's got 3,000 backers at $92,000. Um, yes. I have been waiting for this one to drop. So that is why oh I... Okay, so you got the Micho and you got the creators of Clans of Caledonia. Well, I knew it was coming. I, I have been known. waiting. <laughs> did you see that it was from Clans? The same I guy did as see Clans? That. I oh, did okay. see that. I didn't know if you just saw that now. or I didn't, <laughs> I was like, I didn't consider it in my predictions for no. which one you backed, but <laughs> if I had remembered that, I would have been pretty sure. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so that's... That was yeah. The one of the biggest things behind it is that it's the creator of Clans of Caledonia, a really amazing, great game. Um had actually I think on Instagram had messaged um if he thought this one because uh, I think he had a post about it or whatever, and I asked if this one was heavier or whatever, or about the same as Clan. And I think he said this slightly heavier. Oh he boy. thought so. I'm we'll not sure about that now. It seems a little lighter. <laughs> um, just that's what I was thinking. It looked like it was lighter, but I don't know. Although even clans is very heavy, but I think the theme just so well integrated with the mechanisms that mm -hmm. someone like me who doesn't really like too crunchy of games can play it and enjoy it. And I think this is another one where the theme just fits so well with the mechanisms, where I believe it's going to, um, to where you can have fun with it, even if you don't really like all two heavy games because uh -huh. um, yeah it's kind of a pick up the liver and you're going and you're a thief you're going getting things stealing things from from the rich it throws in there uh, <laughs> a little <laughs> nicer because uh, that's <laughs> they're just rich because they had the money and now you have it <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah. And then you pick up deliver delivering it fulfilling orders um and then there's also, like, you have to watch out because I think it's kind of cycles. The players can control the guards that will kind of look out for you. They can kind of know you're out there, but 
I'm trying to catch you, and that's something that I don't see all too much in like these heavier Euro games. That's why I assume this one is lighter. Um, just that a little bit. And you can even get caught and thrown in jail, uh, which kind of reminded me of Architects in the West Kingdom. Not that it plays like that at all, but mm -hmm. um, I was interested by that um, aspect, that hide-and-seek, trying to catch your opponents. Yeah, I, I think what the one thing I might be a little hesitant about um, is at least one of the, I think one of the reviews or previews or whatever that I watched or listened to, I think it said that with those things where you can arrest the people and stuff, it can be, it sounded like it could potentially be a little bit cutthroat potentially, or kind of a little bit of take that in there. It can make it very difficult. And um, I think kind of like clans where um, I feel like clans, part of what makes it so good is how tight it is and how oh, yeah. like you don't have that much time to do with a <laughs> lot of stuff. Um, and I think it sounded like this one was kind of a similar thing where you don't have that much time to do a ton of stuff. So you have to be really efficient. Um, so yeah. um, I like that. I would yeah, I would just be a little worried if it's the cutthroat. But I think it depends because uh, they said they don't usually play that way. So they mm -hmm. said I think they'd played five games and only had one person get caught. Oh, I don't man. mind it a ton personally, but uh, I think Michaela would mind that. Uh, so. Yeah, probably. I, I would think so. Um, I would mind it if it happens to me, but if I'm doing the catching, then I don't mind it at all. <laughs> but yeah, as you can see, it has a magical board that just rearranges as you set up the game. game. Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, I like that that's modular. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, not that that's just like, oh, it's a whole different game now, but it's just nice that you can mix it up and it looks like just any way you want. It's not like, I don't know, mm -hmm. but it doesn't look like it's a set um, map that you have to, for a right. scenario or anything like that. That's, I know there've been a couple games where it's like, Oh, modular board, follow these rules or whatever. This looks pretty right. free. Uh, yeah. I think, I think it seems like it's pretty free. Cause then too, I think if, if you play at two players, I think you only use six boards instead oh. of the eight. So really like the artwork and kind of just the vibe, the feel that I get from it. It kind of makes me feel like merchants of the dark road. Um, just at mm -hmm. nighttime, travel, a little bit of danger, um, gives me that feel, uh, which I was slightly disappointed in that game. It's gotten better on replay, but still a little disappointed. So mm -hmm. it's another reason, just nonsensical reason that I'm a little wary <laughs> of this. <laughs> uh, oh, the Miko will save it. Andrew Bosley, though. It is what it is. Out with the Bosley. In with the Miko. I wonder if those two... Oh boy, if they combine their efforts. There we go. Yeah. yeah, they've got a couple stretch goals here. Yeah, I think the one thing that I would maybe oh, want my is God, look at those little the screen old printed. School. <laughs> maybe a little bit more yes. screen printing. Um yeah. I'd yeah. like, but it's not the worst either. Um I would like a custom insert. I'm kind of curious if they will so the clans of Caledonia box is oh. um thin and like, weirdly shaped. I haven't looked at it recently, um, but I'm wondering if that's going to be similar with this one. Um, that one did not have an insert, I don't believe. No, no, not at that. all. I don't remember if it originally had one in there. I don't know. I like this. They say this game is a really great tutorial. Um, I've played a couple oh. tutorials in games and I the ones that are good, I absolutely am so thankful that those are in there. Um, I think Twilight Inscription kind of had a little tutorial and that really helped kind of get into the game because that <laughs> is it's a big game. Mm -hmm. um, so they were, they were actually the ones I watched. Mm, yeah. That said that about it. That two player or the uh, take that or not take that. So yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. If so, it has a nice tutorial, that'd be awesome. And the price as well is that, 32 bucks here. That is an amazing that price. is an amazing price. Um, and like, um, I think I've seen yeah, in the like comments that. and stuff, that, uh, if I remember right, shipping is about $20. But oh, yeah. as we've seen oh, yeah. so right. far at all the other projects we've looked at, a lot of the shippings have been like 15 to $20. Yeah. 
estimated okay. shipping table for how many copies you get here <laughs> of the game, which we are planning on getting six. Um, <laughs> I believe that's what you got and <laughs> where you are. But yeah, 20 is it, or euros at least, so a little more than that. Estimated, obviously. Mm -hmm. Could be a little more, a little less, but that's a bit much, but just base game that is a great price i think about as good as you're going to get i mean yeah if that's 20 25 dollars by the end of it plus the 32 dollars that it is i mean that's 50 dollars i don't i don't know i, I don't know why the miko that just brings really these great good. prices to games i don't know <laughs> something about it. that seems pretty good i think because yeah we look at the rest of them and the shipping wasn't that much cheaper on a lot of these other games that I would compare or say are comparative. And those ones did not have base prices of $32. So yeah, yeah. I think it's a, an amazing price, but um, yeah. yeah, I mean, one, I guess th one thing, not too many, like other than cardboard components, that's uh, true. but it all looks really nice. Um, what were you going to say? Uh, one thing is that it is a bit of a wait for this one. Oh yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, but that is partially because they are also, I think this year, 2023, they're having three campaigns, I believe. So they've got this one, and they've got the Clans of Caledonia reprint and an expansion. And they've got one other game um, that they're coming out with. And then in the Pledge Manager, which I think they said is going live actually December of this year. So it's going to be a ways out there. I'm guessing, and they said you can kind of, it's not like you can back all the different things. So I'm wondering oh, that yeah. shipping rate where it has multiple games on there. I'm wondering if that oh, yeah. could potentially mean, I, I don't know if they're going to be all combined. I don't know exactly how that's going to work. Um, but if that is the case, uh, I, I'm probably planning on backing all the new oh, stuff. Yeah. So yeah. Um, if it actually does, you know, what's yeah. that three games and i think they're doing a uh, a verbin right game as well oh, in the right. pledge manager so if that would be you know if I, that actually counted as four games for me um oh. and, uh, shipping for all of that is only 40 dollars. that's not bad at all but oh. i don't know that that's exactly how that works i guess i'll yeah, find out sure. in december exactly but, yeah that's it's a bit of a wait but it looks like it's going to be a lot of good stuff um pretty established with Plans of Caledonia, so I am absolutely up for this. I'm glad this is the one you backed. I wasn't sure between those two. I was much more interested in this one. I was ready to attack you, but you <laughs> made the right decision. I lucked out. But no, I the second... Uh, it's. I feel like it's been a while since I first saw this one. Um, not, not specifically on Kickstarter, but um, like ads on it or it brought up I was like, ooh, what is this? Probably because it was a Miko artwork. Yeah, uh, yeah, and yeah. then when I saw it was related to um, Karma Games, I was like, and then that it was the same as Clans of Caledonia, the same creators. I was like, okay, I'm in for this game. Take my <laughs> me, money. Take my money, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but, yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, all these have me interested i would say at least a little bit even if it's just on the theme like the monsters of the lock here <laughs> but yeah just a lot of good games i would say mm -hmm. my second most interested would be biohack i just really mm -hmm. love unique worker placement and i don't know if it's yeah i guess it's worker placement um that has me really interested as well um but yeah i'm just too bad it's so long to yeah. wait for this I know. Well, this, yeah, I, I think that it sounds like you said the theme part of it sounds interesting, and it seems like mechanically it's going to let you feel that yeah. as well, because it could have just as easily been a just a worker placement of oh go take this and this and get sets of things or whatever, which would be very early of it. But uh, no, the fact that it's kind of a pick up and deliver game, uh, yeah, I think. Yeah. Definitely fits that theme very well. Yeah, so. for sure. So yeah, uh, if you haven't already, let us know in the comments below what you're backing and why it's going to be Thiefdom. Um, <laughs> otherwise, if you're looking at any other games, let us know and we can check those ones out. 
Uh, but otherwise, if Pepper has nothing else to say, we'll see you on the next one. And as always, don't forget to keep on nibbling on our content. <laughs>